Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back along to another episode of the Aftermath with me, Simulation for the Nation. Of course, the episode where we follow up on the Debt Free Farm live challenge on Greenwich Valley Farm. And today we are, well, we've already tidied up a few things that I, didn't, I wanted to do off camera from the end of the stream because it was going to be a little bit tedious to do more stacking of silage. So we've got these bales all stacked up in the corner now. Uh, egg troughs are, well, egg boxes, egg crates are back. We've actually fast forwarded an entire day because yesterday there was no rain, there was a lot of rain, it rained all day and there were no contracts to do, so we're out of things to do really. All our own ground has been kind of completed. Uh, this morning we got out of it nice and early on. We've already completed two fertilizer contracts and it's the same two fields that we're always doing, so I've taken care of those. They are fields 109 and 115 and we have one more to go and do which is field 12. So three contracts to start the day is going to be great. We've also going to, we're going to take our John Deere with the trailer on, uh, and we're going to sell a load of barley, and uh, and then after that we're getting ourselves ready because when our, we start our next live stream it's going to be about haymaking. So we've got this field, which we're standing right now is 121. We've got 105 and 81 to mow down for uh, for silage or we're going to, for hay in this instance. So we're going to get that done. Uh, so yeah, lots to do. We're going to jump straight into the forge to start off though. Into the glorious 7840. I uh, just came back to the yard to fill up with uh, fertilizer and now we're going to head off. So we're at 70,000 just under because we the refill. Um, good amount of money there actually. Really nice. And then that's going to go up by about another 15, 20,000 by the time we finish this contract as well. I had a little bit of a change of mind. Uh, and it was something I was kind of thinking about in terms of what would be the best field to go for because I have mentioned in the live streams that. 108 was the next target for me really uh, and whilst that would still be still be a good field to get I do like the idea of getting 108 there it's gonna leave me in a bit of a predicament because it won't give me any immediate crop uh, because there's nothing planted in there have to go in and uh, work the land over and then drill it and then at this stage it's not gonna you're gonna be waiting a little while to get any, anything back from that what I might do instead is pick up a grass field and one that we can uh, we can harvest and then get plow over and put straight into the next crop. Uh, and when I think about that, I think maybe 95 here would be the best option for that one. It's a nice decent sized field. There's our gateway and nice decent sized field there, which we can harvest. We're going to bale into hay, so we get something to sell at least, and then we can put it straight back into get the plow going through and put it straight into a, another crop there. So. That might be the best way to go, I think. And also, it's not going to cost us 120,000. So we can, once we finish these contracts, we can probably afford it. And it still gives a little bit of money left over. A little bit of a cushion, which is always what we look to, uh, to have. Uh, so yeah, that might be the way we go with that, I think. It's not a bad plan. And I also want to think about trying to get us a vehicle of some sort. I have a Land Rover Defender on the game. We need something to drive around and to go from field to field or go and sell eggs with without having to have the entire trundling around in a uh, John Deere for example it'd be quite nice to get a vehicle so we might have a look into that and if we go for that field it gives us a little bit more money to do it but it is still slightly bigger than field 107 uh, which is good it gives us a little bit more to play with there so that's what I'm thinking let us know down below what your thoughts are on that as well we'll definitely do that in the next live stream but today we're going to go up to our trusty field up here and we'll get this all rattled out nice and quickly, really. This is the last of the three contracts available right now. Um, but we should get this all done fairly swiftly. And yeah, more, more money. I'm hoping in the next day or so, when we fast forward um, after today, uh, so once we've made all the hay on the live stream there, that we will be able to, hopefully, we'll be able to start combining. Now, not necessarily my own, but I'm hoping for some contracts to come through for combining. Now, that'd be cool. Like, these fields were in here, for example. Field 12 should be a good combinable crop at some point soon. Maybe needs one more growth stage. I don't know, but... We'll get in there now, and we'll do what we can with it anyway. So, how have you all been anyway? I hope everyone is fantastic. Do let us know down below what you're getting up to, where you're working. And if you are on the farm right now, what you're driving as well. We are getting ourselves um, prepared for this week, really. Uh, I've done a lot of recording yesterday. Uh, I got a few. I got ahead of myself a little bit, which is great. Always want to be able to do that where possible. Uh, makes things a little bit easier. Uh, roll down the hill. I'm really enjoying the maps that we have on the go at the moment. There with. Uh, 
with this one, Greenwich Valley, with Charwell, and with Shamrock Valley as well. Some just phenomenal maps. Now, if we jump out here. Old Robert's got a lovely size field of wheat, which would be really nice to get into with the combine, actually. Uh, so that could be a good live stream at some point soon. But for now... Oh, I know what I haven't done. I forgot to start this contract, didn't I? Except contract. So you can see, we're in this one now, and then we've completed, what's that, uh, £17,000 worth, r roughly. Which is good. Uh, off we go. Headwind here. Kept the row crops on the Ford in the end there, because I knew there'd be a few more jobs coming in like this, and my my crops aren't too far away either. So all being well, we'll get stuck into those in the coming days. Um, we we'll probably have to go back in. I think there's one that needs one more hit of fertilizer, so we'll see about that. And hopefully the weeds will stay down. Uh, but we'll have to watch this space. Really, you never know. Stuff. So we have been kind of fertilizing these fields now for, I think this one's had like four or five treatments. It must be about that. It seems like a lot, but there's been an awful lot going on here. So uh, this will hopefully be the last. It's been a good money, uh, it's been a good cash cow for us really. Uh, and as you look at I was having a look earlier on, as you look at what I have on the farm there now, from what it started out with, we really have developed, and it's great to see that the farm is still expanding without having a single pound worth of debt in the end. Uh, so that's really fantastic. I'm desperately hoping and waiting for some great demand for silage, something that we can really take advantage of, uh, and that would be great, because that's probably, I wouldn't like to say how much money we've got sat there, but it'll be a nice little boost, that's for sure. There are a few different bits of equipment, a few mods that have come out recently that I would love to see come onto, uh, onto the farm. Some of those new grain trailers, either the Bailey or the Red Rock, would be awesome to have. It's a bit expensive now, at my price range right now. But yeah, that would be really sweet to have that on. But uh, maybe one day. Uh, days is not now. We're going to go up to the, uh, to the old grain storage because on my... I have it. It seems to... I believe I've around 5,000 litres or five, or 5 tons really of barley in a, a silo up there, but it's not in the silo on my yard. So I'm going to go and pick that up and see what's going on with it. And then, all being well, we can get that transferred across onto. We'll, we'll probably just take it straight to sell actually. So I'm done, and we'll just go and start one end. about there, I should say. Alright then. Not a beautiful morning here, that's for sure. It really is a stunner. I'm desperately waiting for the uh, for the crops to be ready to go, because I really want to use that combine. I want to get us out there and, and, and get some... Uh, Get some hours on it. And speaking of hours, this forward's just ticked into 19 hours, which is great. It's been a real work all me. Wonderful to see. I think once we've finished this field as well, we might go and stick a bit of fertilizer into field 81, which is ours, that we haven't put anything into yet. But yeah, it'd be good to get that one kind of all taken care of at the same time. So we're going to keep ticking along. We're making some nice little progress through this field anyway. Maybe one more pass and we'll be halfway through or so. Uh, so we'll keep doing this and then we'll come back to you when we've finished it pretty much. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll give you an update as to what the rest of the Aftermath episode is going to look like. Okay then, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. We had the little bit in the middle that we missed there, but as you can see, the contract is completed. Which is wonderful news. We're just going to get off the field, take the long way around, because of course the gateways are always at the very far end. Uh, and then we'll get ourselves back down to the yard, put the John Deere onto the trailer, and go and get some grain, I think. Uh, 
But yeah, we're really kicking along nicely now, going great guns. Uh, the fertilizer that's left in here will probably go into field uh, 81 on our drive home, I think. Uh, as we went past it, we'll stick it in there because yeah, we, it's ready to go again, so we might as well get a decent second car there. I think at some point as well that might get ploughed over, but uh, not right now, that's for sure. Uh, well, I need to make sure as well that I don't plough over everything. Uh, I want to make sure I have some grass because I need some more... I need work through the uh, through the spring. If we plow everything in and let it grow, then we're going to be waiting for a while there, which is not ideal. Now our hens are still pecking along there quite nicely. They are uh, going to be supplying us. Like the value of eggs right now is astronomically good. So they are they are working away. We might actually buy some more once we sell these contracts, just so we. Um, because I want to get more eggs. I sold like three and a half, four boxes, uh, not crates, boxes of eggs. And I got about two thousand pounds. So it's definitely worthwhile investing in those guys whilst you can. Uh, so we might see how that looks. Get a little bit of extra money coming in there would be excellent. Yeah, been funny. Yeah, back down the long old road, we'll wing in and get eighty one done, and then uh, let's get these contracts sold as well. Bring the extra money back in. We're now... We need to get about another... I think it's about another ten or 15,000 to afford that bigger field. Uh, and then some. So we'll, we'll we'll sell these contracts off. We'll sell that little bit of grain. That should give us around... Uh, I think that gives us around twenty like 25,000, depending on how much I get for the grain. And then we'll be in the position to do it. Obviously, I want to get a little bit more of a cushion before I buy the field because I don't want to risk going into debt when I have to buy everything. Uh, it's always something you got to remember in this position. There's a lot of little farms around here. I do love this map for that. A lot of little farms, a lot of nice little small farm fields. And we're slowly spreading out from my uh, from where we originally started. But we're going to go into here. Into here, we'll just empty out the fertilizer into here, I guess. Well, let's just make sure we're doing okay here. 66%. Oh, it's not looking too bad then. Actually, no, it's all good. It needs another growth stage, so we'll leave it. worth checking in on anyway but we'll get that used up at some point probably on that new field when we buy that one up uh but yeah back to the yard we go we'll get this dropped off we'll, and let's get that uh john deere moved around and see what we can see what we can get ready to go and get these contracts sold actually oh and get some kfc for breakfast Our poplar field with the um, barley headland in there is coming along very nicely. Going great guns. Wonder if that's going to uh, shoot up at all in the next growth stage. I severely hope so. But that's still looking good, I believe, for like kind of a winter harvest at some stage. Now, depending upon how well that goes and what kind of price we get for that, we might look at a um, chance that we could look at turning a bigger field into that later on down the line. But for right now, it's not going to happen. into here I think so yeah, this is the field that I wanted to buy there we go but yeah, like I say, there's nothing in here right now, so you would need to drill it first, and you're going to be waiting for a while to see any return on it. It's not really the way we like to go on, on this uh, series. We like to be able to get something that we can immediately see a, a positive return for. 
Uh, okay, so we're going to go into contracts here. Completely, completely completed. All right, look at that, 94,000 already. That's splendid. And then... 95 would be the next field to go for. It's going to be 82,000. So we've got 12,000 pounds left over right now. Uh, obviously, I'd like to get north of 100,000 before we think about buying that one, if it's possible. Uh, but yeah, that guy there is nice and small. But yeah, I think we'll go for 95 because, like I said, it's a bit bigger than this 107. Uh, it's not quite as big as 108. And it means that we can get some hay straight off there as well. So that's uh, not a bad idea, I don't think. But uh, we'll leave that to actually buy it until another day. Right now, we're going to jump into this guy. Which is a needable wash soon, actually. Let's look at doing that right about now. Look much better. So let's see if we can actually get into here and pick this up. It seems to be right in the corner. Ooh, we might be good. There is a bail clamp there, but we should be good. Alright, so let's get ourselves straight back away. We are heading over to the other end of the map that we haven't been to in a little while. Or, or a region of the map we haven't been to in a while. Can I get around there? Is that going to be too tight for one swing? Yes. So let's just go and spin around up here. And onwards we go. So we'll probably take a little bit of a drive. Uh, it is, we're heading over to uh, the yard, which is in between fields 32, 33, 41, and 42. So the original default yard you start with on the map here. So it's a little bit of a drive away. Uh, but we'll get us off away there, and then we'll come back to you when we've uh, when we made it over to the yard. Okay then, uh, open this gate, let's go and have a look see what we've got in here, what might be ours, what's missing. Oh, that's a nice little side of that one actually, I think. Okay. So, according to the main menu, or to the store, I have... But 5,000 litres of barley, which I don't have in my home 
which I do not have in my home silo. Uh, 5,000, 5,500 really. So I can't get that when I go back to out my yard. So that's a bit weird. I've also gone a little bit too far forward. How about that? There we go. Now we did, when you start the game there, we had to... I don't know how I got mixed up somehow and it wasn't quite saved in the right place, so we had to move it around a little bit. Uh, we're obviously not using this uh, this farm or this silo, so that's what we've had to do there. Um, but yeah, five and a half ton there, it's not, not to be sniffed at. Now where do we take it to? That's the main thing. Looks like Linton Mill is still going to be, is still the best. Linton Mill is down at the very south there, yeah. So, off we go again. We'll head on down and we'll get this sold up and hopefully we should be, well, close to that 100,000 marker. Uh, but we will see. And we'll leave it here though for now. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the latest episode of The Aftermath. Coming up in the next live stream here for Debt Free Farm. Uh, challenge we will be making hay we've got a lot to go out there so we'll get the mowers going and uh, yeah we'll see if we can get it turned around nice and quickly uh, for now though I've been Simulation for the Nation I do hope you have enjoyed if you haven't you've yet to do so don't forget to hit the like button smash that subscribe button and come and join us for the ride and we will see you all in the next one until then have yourself a great day enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll see you later